I'm going to show you how to add a new email account in the new version of Outlook, the web version in Office 365. So I'm launching the Outlook version for the very first time. And you're going to see that it's going to prompt me to go ahead and add an account. So there's lots of different types of accounts that I can add in. Now, if it sees that I've logged in either to a web version of an email or maybe I've registered my account, say, with Enter ID, then you're going to see a suggested account. If you don't see one in there, just go ahead and type it in, whatever the email account is. And you can see there's lots of different types of accounts it supports. You can click on Learn More and it'll open up a web page of all the different types of accounts that you can add in. So I'm going to minimize that and choose the account that shows here in the list and click continue. And it's going to prompt you for possibly a password, maybe multi-factor authentication. In my case, since I registered the device with Enter ID, then I don't have to put in any type of password or multi-factor authentication because my computer and my account are synchronized with Enter ID. Now you can see that it's getting Outlook ready for the first time. And you can see it's taking me to the new Outlook. There's also this introduction here you can go through if you'd like to see all the different options as well, or you can just click Not Interested. So now I'm in the new version of Outlook, and you can see all the different options. In this playlist, you'll also see a video of all the different features that come in the new version of Outlook. And that's how you add an account into the new version of Outlook in Office 365.